Hello everybody, it's the Psycho Blue at UK, and I figured today I'll talk about the balance update and what characters kind of moved up on the tier list. And I played most of them, and I decided how I think they should be. Well, so we're going to start off with Coda. Coda got a nice buff, and it's very good. But the only drawback to me is Half Moon Cake, you can't dash after it. And Copper Eye combo still has this issue. It only works when it's in the corner. But, I mean, he went from pretty much D tier to B tier, in my opinion. Which is a good step. He's very good in B tier now. He's very competitive now, which allows us to work with certain teams. Which is good. So, Koda is in B. Now, let's go on with the next one. Sorry about that. Kimberly. Now, Kimberly obviously was very crappy still. And she was also in D tier, in my opinion. Not that great. Now, they gave her a good buff. They made backflip a lot more easier to combo to jump shot, followed by arc shot, but that's about it. Her jump shot's still kind of slow, in my opinion. And arc shot's still bad. They should at least fix that as well. But they did what they could do, and now she feels more playable. So she's also in B tier. She's still manageable. She went from D to B. That's pretty good. And that's great. So let's see what else we have. That, that would have been easy to do this. Sam. Now, Sam was always in B tier, in my opinion. Because he was not that great. He didn't have a sweep with Omega combo. He was still good. You just had to play smart with him. But now he feels a little bit more better. And obviously, his hyper mode saves him a lot. It's a two cost. It does less damage, but it's there for the does. It does damage. His blast mode hits hard. His combo, Omega combo is a little fast. And that's you set it up. And he actually moved from a B to an A tier. So he's an A tier in my opinion. He's still good. Just not S tier like Adam and them. He's still there. So let's go on with the next one. Ooh. Yeah, RJ. Well, RJ is still RJ. Just his super got hit hard. And that puts him very tough. To me, I think RJ was kind of like A tier. But now I think he moved down to B tier because his super set him up so much that now that they put it to, what, 35% of his health, he can't do much after that. They nerfed the damage to it. He can't set up a lot of combos now after that. So they put him down to a B tier, in my opinion. He's still good, but just you got to play without the super. Other than that, he still could be top tier eventually. But yeah. B tier. Let's see. Blue Centurion. He was S tier. He was S tier, but thanks to the nerf they did, he kind of fell down to kind of like A tier, in my opinion. He's still good. You can still play smart. You can still hit hard, but he's just not going to be S tier anymore. He's not as busted, which is good. A tier still good. He could compete. But, yeah, A tier for me. Let's see what else we have. Ugh, Goldar. Goldar, Goldar. To me, Goldar was A tier when he was fixed. But now they kind of dropped his... They nerfed his Goldar slash and gave it to a 4. And his, that they nerfed his Goldar stomp. He's kind of a B tier character now. Kind of sucks. He was A tier, but now he's B tier. He, he still hits hard. He's just not as fast anymore. You got to learn to play it smart and beat the blocks out now. So they're going for the full speed. But yeah, A tier. No, man, B tier. Let's see what else we got. Ah. Uh. You know. yeah. 
Naruto. Still D tier. That's that's all I'm gonna give him D tier. I mean he was F tier, but he moved to D tier because at least Stumblyfo gives it some combo. But again, it's kinda like Coda. It only works when they're in the corner. That's about it. Nothing special. D tier, it's something. Better than nothing. Ah, Gemma. Now, Gemma, she was A tier. God forbid, knowing A tier. She just dropped to B tier because they nerfed a lot of her move. Her Cyclone and Direct Game got nerfed. Her Ice Moon went up to a 4 to a 5. So that kind of puts her so B tier because she can't play it much anymore. She's going to waste so much energy that she can't combo after that. So you got to really find the right assist to play around that. But she went from an A to a B tier. Kind of dropped. Insane. Hold on. Now Zane. Honestly, Zane, in my opinion, went from C tier to freaking A tier. Not Buster, not S tier, but A tier. Because the fact that they gave him a cancel on his Silver Slash, his C Storm has a, hit, a sweep on the second hit, and his best shot does more damage. He's not going to be meta meta, but he's going to be enough to compete on ladder still. A tier straight through. Not broken, but enough to be competitive. And I like that. That Zane got competitive again. We're going to be seeing a lot of that. So let's see who else. Ah, uh, Adam. Adam, Adam, Adam. Adam pretty much got from S tier... To my opinion, A tier. And I'm going to tell you why. Because now Adam actually requires freaking skills to use. Yes, Twin Slicer got hit the hardest. And we all knew Twin Slicer was going to get hit. I said it once. To nerf Adam, all he had to do was slow down the speed of Twin Slicer. <laughs> sure enough, yeah. That's what happened. They nerfed it badly. Now, but his main combo start is Vanishing Drop. He actually requires skills and the right assist to build him to be good. He is A tier still, just not OPS tier. Now, the people that pretty much wasted money to level up this character, well, they're obviously people that want to be paid to win. They have no skills. But now that they nerfed, he's actually going to require skills and people are going to have to learn to stick with the character and actually master him. They'll be good with him still. So he's A tier now. And last but not least, Gia. Gia was A tier. Not S tier, A tier. Well, maybe S tier, but definitely A. And they pretty much gave her back all her moves back to her normal way when she used to start. Which is like threes and fours. Her ski shot went back from a three to a four. Now, it's going to be tricky because you're going to waste all your, your gold and Star Sting went back to three. So, back to her original win when she came out. Just more waste energy. So, she's went back to like maybe B tier. But, yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on all the characters that got changed. Oh, and obviously Daggeron, but come on. Daggeron, does, does that really matter? He's still freaking good. He's, he's like S tier. But, yeah, that's today's freaking tier list that's what i think what do you guys think what do you guys agree on the tiers i say on the characters tell me in the comments this is psycho blue or 2k saying peace uh Hello. Ah. all right laters